Howdy folks, June 16th, it's hot, it's 95, these things are taking off, I'd say these plants are in full stride on this hydroponic kit, running full tilt, this uh, cherry tomato has lost its mind, I've never seen dirt grown cherries put flower clusters like that together it's like a branch of a tree and they are covered covered up oh there's the first ripe one I think I'll try it now man I can't tell the difference between hydroponic and dirt grown but I've never seen a cherry tomato grow in the dirt like this. This thing is well over eight feet at the top, making flowers all the way down to the bottom. And uh, you look in there, and there's they're everywhere you look. There's probably a couple hundred on there right now, coming in or been hanging. Uh, we got some white fly there. Good old white fly. Anyways, you can see all these everywhere indigo rose is covered up beans I put in there for playing around I've picked those so many times I'm tired of picking them the beefsteak here is kind of worrying me she's lessened the number of fruits per cluster and quit on some on the ends I don't know if that's a heat related issue I did notice my feed line was not running full tilt it was about 50% and I cleaned it out now it's going again but uh, as you can see here kind of like they're quitting on them uh, I have been hand pollinating these because I haven't been seeing any bees much maybe a few bumblebees but she's just as tall as the other ones uh, they're running on a flower and fruiting mix now Still got a little nitrogen in it, but mostly, I told you this one on a past video, once it got going, it would be going, a black and brown boar, she's making this, uh, it's a beast. And look at the, the width of the stalk there. That's some thumb width stuff, unreal. I'd say hydroponics works. I'd like to see it in a greenhouse. I might build me one, cut some trees down. But anybody that knows why this beefsteak might be acting that way, she looks healthy. She's flowering. I just, you know, you go from this to three. I don't, I don't know. She's kind of quitting on the, on the blooms. But uh, never been a good container soil gardener. These guys look pretty weak. And I don't know if it was just a con continuous rain. I mean, they are fruiting. I uh, have been seeing stuff like this. Looks like blossom. Oh, look. it's like blossom and rot trying to get in there, and it shouldn't be. It's got enough uh, humic acid, Epsom salts, 555 fish fertilizer. Uh, this one here just. I've had to trim it all up. Uh, now these heirlooms are all right, I guess. This is a mortgage lifter. They're making tomatoes. But they stay light green and I fed them. pH is about 6.9 in that dirt. So I don't know what the problem is with that. Anybody with any tips, feel free to let me know if anybody's tuning in to this channel. Uh, peppers are kicking in. I got aroma there. I got a beef steak there that I transplanted and my peppers are coming along. Starting to make bells down there making. Got a squash and a cherry up there. And then out here, just beans and squash. I've been picking squash and beans and I'm so tired of picking them I don't know what to do, but start giving it away. That is a kind of little plant that volunteered, so I let it go. And the cukes are down there on the rail, they're making 
probably can't see them, but uh, really, somebody with some knowledge on this Pro Mix growing in the bags, um, I'm giving them plenty of food, and you know, I this is a uh, this is probably five hours of full sun on these tomato plants. The rest filters through. Uh, they probably go from like 12 to 5, 5.30 in full sun. The rest is morning through the trees and evening through the trees. Now these guys get in at about 10 o'clock in the morning and stay in it till 5 so they actually get another hour but I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. Never been good at container gardening. Give me a patch of ground, let me amend it, till it and let it sit and I can grow stuff in it. Uh, or let me have some hydroponics. I think this might be the way to go because that cherry tomato was delicious and I can't tell a difference so um, check it out hit me up if you got any ideas on my soil grown tomatoes they're looking weak anyways June the 16th it's hot it's gonna be 90 plus every day for the next week and a half thanks for watching